Well, hi everybody, and welcome to the Photoshop Insider. I'm Scott Kelby, and I'm I'm doing a follow-up video here for something that I posted on my blog. I showed um, some layouts I was doing for a book, a photo book, and I used Apple's iPhoto. So I'm showing you three different videos. This video is actually how to do it in iPhoto. I'm going to show you another video here on my blog on how to do it in Lightroom, and one on how to do it in Photoshop. So this is the Apple iPhoto one. Step one is to, you need JPEGs. So I went to Lightroom and I made a folder full of JPEGs from the trip. So I selected the photos, exported them as JPEG. They're here in a folder on my desktop. Now, when you buy a Mac, uh, iPhoto is an application for managing in photos and creating photo books and stuff. It comes with your Mac and you just click and drag it down here to the iPhoto icon and you let go and it starts importing the photos. And here they come. They're importing now. I'm importing 62 photos, but it doesn't take very long. You can see they, they come in pretty darn quickly. And then once they come in, we can start to work with them. So they'll be in here in just a second. I will just not speak while they're coming in. <laughs> Some background music would have been nice here. Okay, here they are, coming in here, finishing the import. Now all you do is select all, and then get on here to the word book, and click on book. And you get to choose first what type of book you want. By default, it wants to give you a hardcover book. Personally, I don't like the hardcover books anymore. I did those at first, but they have kind of a consumery look. And when I switch to doing these soft cover books, everybody seems to like them so much better. So I'm going with a soft cover 8.5 by 11 book. Then you get to choose what it's going to look like. They have all these different templates, and they're usually very well designed. I'm going to go down to the one I chose for my blog, which was Folio. You click Choose, and it makes a new book for you. To get your images in your book, you have a couple different choices. Here are the different layouts. You can choose Auto Flow, and it will just take every photo you imported and import it through the book randomly. So you hit Auto Flow. And it does it. It shows that as the cover picture. It does it in order, in the order that you put them. And there you go. Your book's done. It threw them all in there. Now let's do undo. Let me just press Command Z to undo. If you want to do it manually, you can go over here to this little icon at the top. And now you can just drag and drop your photos in there. And it will do it for you. If you want to change the background color, you just go over here to background. And you can choose black or white. Or you can choose to use a photo background, which I rarely do, but you could do it like this. Just drag a photo as the background. Uh, actually, drag it into the background area would be nice. You don't just drag it anywhere. There you go. Then you can click on it and actually lighten the background like that. All right. So uh, that's it. You just go through your book here and you just drag and drop photos. Now, here's something really cool. It's very smart in the way it works. If you drag a wide photo onto a tall frame, it automatically adjusts. And if you drag tall ones, it automatically adjusts. Now, there's one thing I just do want, I do want to tell you. You see how the photos are butting up against each other here? If you want them to be a little gap and actually fit the whole photo in there, control click and choose fit photo to frame size. And watch, it resizes it a little. Let me change the background color so you can see. So here's without fit photo to frame size. Whoops, I just hit mirror image, sorry. Here's without it. See how they almost touch each other? And they're cropped in a little bit. If you choose fit photo to frame size, then you get the full size photo and it puts a little nice gap in between them. So that's basically how I built the book. You just click and drag. There's a full page. There's a tall one. You just go through, pick the photos you want in, and just drag and drop them. And then you can put in titles and things. And to add your titles, you just click right beside them. So if you drop one in here, let's drop a couple in here. And let's fit them to frame size so they, but you see how they automatically adjusted for one tall and one wide? Very cool. Then over here, you can just zoom in and type in a caption for it, you know, whatever you want to put. Type in something here. There you go. That's it. I mean, very, very simple. There's not much to it. When you're done, you click on buy book and it brings up a list of prices based on the size you chose and how many pages are in your book and it will accommodate up to 100 pages. So that's it. A quick look at iPhoto. A very, very easy way to create those photo books on your Mac.